Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, I cannot be with you today, but I would like to take the opportunity to welcome you to the second edition of the annual dialogue on multi-level protection and promotion of fundamental rights. I would like to thank the Committee of the Regions and the Fundamental Rights Agency for organizing this dialogue. Today's dialogue focuses on a subject at the core of the European Commission's agenda, how to make the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights as effective as possible for citizens. Last month, we set out a strategy to ensure that these fundamental rights are effectively implemented by making the Charter the compass for all EU policies. This will require the involvement of all actors. The European institutions must be at the forefront and their own action must be impeccable. The same applies to the Member States when they apply EU law. When it comes to apply the Charter rights on the ground, local and regional authorities are in the front line because on a daily basis they have a key role to play. The Committee of the Region's White Paper on Multi-Level Governance gives us a very illustrative figures in this respect. There are 95,000 local and regional authorities in the EU with significant powers in sectors such as education, public services, social policies. They implement around 70% of EU legislation. So the Charter of Fundamental Rights must also guide local and regional authorities when they are implementing EU union law. For example, in the fields of migration, integration, refugee protection, they have an important task in upholding the Charter. I think, for example, of the obligation to ensure conditions that respect human dignity in reception centres for refugees. When it comes to children, local and regional authorities play an important role in ensuring access to education and adequate health care, in favouring child-friendly justice and in providing information and services to children in a child-friendly manner. Local and regional authorities are also on the front line in our action to improve the social integration of Roma communities in Europe. Several recent reports by the Fundamental Rights Agency illustrate how regional and local authorities can ensure that the rights of Roma are duly enforced in relation to education, houses, access to health, to employment. I am aware that regional and local authorities are sometimes confronted with a lack of resources to tackle all these situations. The Commission has just established a task force to ensure that the available funds are used for the benefit of those who need them, including the Roma communities. As you may know, a large share of EU funding from which Roma could benefit is not fully utilised. Last but not least, in order to establish effective evidence-based policies, data collection and appropriate indicators are of key importance. Local and regional authorities can play an important role in this respect in cooperation with the Fundamental Rights Agency. EU law and the Charter are part of all our lives as European citizens. And because you, as local and regional authorities, are close to citizens, you are in an excellent position to help implement the Charter. I look forward to work with you in order to make the rights of the Charter a reality for every citizen. I wish you a very fruitful debate.